to have our remembrance service and we're going to try and do the best we can not meeting together but remembering together all those who uh, gave their lives for the service of this country and also we can remember those giving their lives still and those supporting the hospitals at a very important time and in our society as well. presence of God on this Remembrance Sunday to commit ourselves to the work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We pray for all those suffering directly and indirectly from the pandemic, for people who are ill for people who are bereaved, and for people who are living in fear. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts, past and present, have been given and taken away. We pray together. God, God our, our refuge and strength, strength bring near the day when pebbles will cease and poverty and pain shall end, that earth, earth may know the peace, peace of heaven, heaven through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess to God our sins and shortcomings of the world, its pride, its selfishness, its greed, its evil divisions and hatreds. Then let us confess our share in what is wrong and our failure to seek and establish that peace which God wills for his children. Most, Most merciful God, God Father, Father of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been. Help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly and love mercy, walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. 
May the God of all healing and forgiveness draw you to himself and cleanse you from all your sins, that we may behold the glory of his Son, the Word made flesh, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Haste to thee, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backwards and put to confusion that wish me evil. Let them for their reward be soon brought to shame that cry over me there, there. But let all those that seek thee be joyful and glad in thee, and let all such as delight in thy salvation say always the Lord be praised. As for me, I am poor in misery, Haste thee unto me, O God. Thou art my helper and my redeemer. O Lord, make no long tarrying. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now we have the Old Testament lesson. Reading from the Wisdom of Solomon, which is to be found in the Apocrypha, and it's chapter 6, beginning at verse 12. Wisdom is radiant and unfading, and she is easily discerned by those who love her and is found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known to those who desire her. One who rises early to seek her will have no difficulty, for she will be found sitting at the gate. To fix one's thoughts on her is perfect perfect understanding, and one who is vigilant on her account will soon be free from care, because she goes about seeking those worthy of her, and she graciously appears to them in their paths and meets them in every thought. Thus ends the reading.
Now the epistle. The reading is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 beginning at verse 13. Brothers and sisters, we want you to know what happens to those who die. We don't want you to be sad, as other people are. They don't have any hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again. When he returns, many who believe in him will have died already. We believe that God will bring them back with Jesus. That agrees with what the Lord has said. When the Lord comes, many of us will still be alive. We tell you that we will certainly not go up before those who have died. The Lord himself will come down from heaven. We will hear a loud command. We will hear the voice of the leader of the angels. We will hear a blast from God's trumpet. Many who believe in Christ will have died already. They will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them. We will be taken up in the clouds. We will meet the Lord in the air and we will be with him forever. So cheer each other up with these words of comfort. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now the Holy Gospel. Our reading this morning is from Matthew 25 verses 1 to 13, the parable of the young woman. At that time the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Once there were young women who took their oil lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. 
Five of them we are foolish, and the other five we are wise. The foolish ones took their lamps and did not take extra extra oil with them. Why the wise ones took containers full of oil for their lamps? The bridegroom was late in coming, so the women began to nod and fall asleep. It was already midnight when they cried out, Here is the bridegroom, come and meet him. The ten women woke up and teamed their lamps. Then the foolish ones said to the wise ones, let us have some of your oil, because our lamps are going out. No, indeed, the wise ones answered. There is not enough for you and for us. Go to the shop and buy some for yourselves. So the foolish women went off to, the, to buy some oil. And when they were gone, the bridegroom arrived. The five who were ready went in with him to the wedding feast. And the door was closed. Later the other women arrived. Sir, sir, let us in, they cried out. Certainly not. I don't know you, the bridegroom answered. And Jesus concluded, Be on your guide, that because you do not know the day or the hour. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. We will remember them. We will remember them. At the coming of the sun and in the morning, we. old as we that are left grow old age shall not weary them nor the years condemn at the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them we will, we will remember, remember them, them.
When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. Let us pray. Ever-living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storms of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God save our gracious Queen, long live our noble Queen, God save the Queen. Send her victorious, happy and glorious, long to In our psalm today, so beautifully sung by Lee, it has the words, O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. We also use this in the service of Compline to ask for God's help at the, as the day ends and the night begins. The psalmist goes on later, but I am poor and needy. Make haste unto me, O God. Thou art my help and my deliverer. O Lord, make no tarrying. At this strange time in the world, we understand more now some of the difficulties the people of the world wars faced. We understand more about the separation of families. Their men were at the front, but we are all separated from each other. The children were sent to the countryside to avoid air raids. Nursing staff also so far away sometimes at the front, but also in hospitals and rehabilitation centres around the country. Our nurses can be next door and still they are separated from us. The sudden loss of a loved one with little or no warning is something that they suffered every day. That feeling of waiting for the other foot to drop, perhaps just us feeling negative about the whole change in our lives and all this causing us stress that makes some days even the simplest tasks harder. In the past, we've taken the sacrifice of many women and men who served in the forces during the World War for granted sometimes. We too easily forget the price of peace we enjoy, and it's right to do so for most of the year. But today, it is our duty to those fallen to remember them and their gift to us, which is the peace that we live. I'm not old enough to remember the Second World War. I was born 17 years after it ended. But I remember my nan talking about it as she lost all but one of her four brothers. They were merchant seamen who were sunk, simply trying to bring food to people back in England. Medicines too. My great uncle Charlie survived to become a sea pilot, bringing in boats safely into the Newport docks well into well and past his retirement. He survived his ship sinking, but he swam to safety and survived to tell the tale. But of course the family didn't know that straight away. 
It took them weeks to know that he'd survived. They heard about the sinking of the ship a lot faster than they heard about his survival. And so they waited. And that must have been a hard time indeed. Others waited years for their loved ones as they were in concentration camps. And it was not until later they arrived home or were able to get a letter out so that families could know. Others waited in vain, never to know the fate of their loved ones, never to be able to lay them to rest. We, in this time of technology, have the ability to talk face to face with our loved ones, even when they're separated from us. News comes quickly, bad news even quicker. Today, we recall the millions of servicemen who gave their lives in both world wars. There have been other conflicts since then, the Korean War, the Falkland War, the two Gulf Wars in which our troops have fought. We remember as a society all of them, even though we never met them. They have passed their gift down to us. The ability to remember is such a wonderful gift that God has given to mankind. Some of our memories are happy and we can recall those wonderful experiences. But some of our memories are sad and we may weep as we remember them. This sort of remembrance that we do today is very different. It's a ceremony of remembering the history of a time when other people gave their lives. People we will never meet lay down their lives to give us the society that we have now. That may not seem like such a great thing today as we struggle with COVID-19 and all of the lockdown that was put on us. Here we are in lockdown too. But it is nonetheless a place of peace. We do have great freedoms, even though at this point we have to be careful expressing them to protect each other. It's good for us to remember those who have fought, not to glorify war, for there is no glory in it. It is good for us to remember that war is a terrible thing and that some sacrifice their lives to defend us and all they loved, the people and the country they lived in. Today is a day when we say thank you to all those who made the sacrifice so that we can stand here today in peace and remember them. Perhaps this year, as we experience lockdown, in part lessening of our freedom. To protect each other, we have to remain in our homes and change the way we live just for a little while. This year, as the poppies have not been out everywhere to buy, please remember to support the British Legion as you would normally do. You can buy a poppy online, download it, and you can give them some money that way. And you can also send them money in the old fashioned way as well. So today, as we remember the sacrifice of all those who did not come back after the world wars, let us be thankful for their bravery and their courage. Let us also remember to join the psalmist cry through our own difficulties to come and not tarry. So God will see us through this next lockdown as he did the first. And as we face uncertain times, we know that God who helped us is still the same the same God of love, who will see us through, only if we ask him. Amen. Let us say our creed together. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life for the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ Church Militant here in earth. Heavenly Father, as we come together today on this Remembrance Sunday, we give you thanks for all that that means. This year has been so strange, so long, so hard, so different and so difficult. Many of us have experienced thoughts, feelings and situations that we previously could never have conceived. As everything around us has changed, we thank you that you remain the same. Even if we can't be in your house, you are always in ours. Your promise to us remains true and as Christians around the world place their hope in you, they know that the hope is far bigger than a wish. It is the patient waiting for a promise to be fulfilled. And we bring before you all believers, those who have struggles, those who face persecution and fear and not knowing where the next meal will come from or if indeed they will survive to see another day. We know that your light has overcome all and we ask that you break this darkness, bring life to situations where hope may have gone. We pray for safety and protection and we know that all of those who call upon your name will be heard. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we pray for our church leaders that they will be guided in their ministry by the influence of the Holy Spirit and that the church, in the power of the Holy Spirit, may make the gospel understandable to people of every race, language and culture that the Holy Spirit of peace may unite and reconcile the peoples and nations of the earth, bringing an end to terrorism, war, hatred and discrimination. Everlasting God, we pray that your church built on the foundations of the saints will be faithful to the teachings of Christ so that it reflects his likeness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Mighty God, we commend to your gracious care and keeping all the men and women who serve in the Navy, the Army, the Air Force, at home and abroad. Defend all who face danger and put their lives at risk so that others might live in safety and give them courage to face the perils of active service. Comfort all worried families whose loved ones are in danger. Surround them with your love. Protect them from all harm and help them to know that nothing can separate them from your love. At the start of another period of lockdown in England, we pray for all our friends and families and ask for your blessing and protection for them as they try to carry on with some sort of normality in their life. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of justice, we give you thanks for the efforts that have been made around this country to feed children and families who are struggling. And we thank you that holiday hunger is now something that people are actually talking about. It is no longer hidden in the way that it once was. And we thank you that here in this parish you have continued to provide for us. As so many seek to feed those in need, we lift before you the government, the influence, influencers, the decision makers. Help them to look closer, Lord. Address the issues of rising living costs, low incomes. Provide better support for those living with poor mental health and domestic abuse. There are so many factors that can lead to families facing difficulties and we place it all, Lord, into your hands. And we know that all those things can overwhelm us and make us feel helpless your promise runs deeper. We boldly ask you to bring about an end to this suffering 
and we pray in faith for the day when children and families will no longer need to be hungry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Gracious God, we pray for doctors, nurses, medics and chaplains and all who support the suffering. Give them wisdom and skill and patience to minister to those sick and those wounded in combat. We especially pray for all who return from the field of combat with the injuries, be they physical or mental, which have ruined their young lives. And for the charities and organisations which support them in their convalescence. God of healing, we lift to you your creation that is damaged and ravaged by so many things. All those who are sick in any way, we know that as a society we often cause more harm than good and that greed and thoughtlessness and laziness are all factors for the damage that has been done. Lord, show us how we can make a difference. Help us to make changes that are considered, considerate and positive that although they may seem small, collectively will bring real difference. As our world continues to be gripped by the coronavirus pandemic, be with each of us. Help us to make decisions that will be for the good of all. Be with the NHS, the scientists and the government as they all try to navigate the way through this season we find ourselves in. We pray with hope for a time when this virus will no longer have the hold over the world it does right now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we pray for those who have died who are known to us and all those who have fallen in battle, who gave their lives in the cause of freedom and in defence of peace and justice. We remember too all civilians and non-combatants who died in the fighting. Surround all who are bereaved with compassion and give them a patient faith in their suffering. May the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace and through the mercy of Christ rise in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Everlasting God, wash away the wounds of war, violence and hatred. Help us to recognise how blessed Jesus named the peacemakers and to know that if we really wish for a peaceful world, we should honestly pray, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Then we shall truly be called the children of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. To crown all things there must be love, to bind all together and complete the whole. Let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also, also with you. Peace be with you. We lift, we lift them, them to the Lord. Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to, to give, give thanks, thanks and praise. praise. Father, you made the world and love your creation. You gave your Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels praising you 
and singing. through Jesus Christ our Lord and as we obey his command send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of, of your dear son on the night before he died he had supper with his friends and taking bread he praised you he broke the bread and gave it to them and said take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me when supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you and gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people and gather us into your loving arms and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven through Christ and with Christ and in Christ. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith and with thanksgiving. Please do take communion wherever you are. Thank you. 
proclaimed the kingdom and restored the broken to wholeness of life. Look with compassion on the anguish of the world and by your healing power make whole both people and, the, and nations through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And we say together, Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Each year we stand together and we make a commitment to peace. And this year it seems more important to keep peace between us and to care for each other as well. Let us commit ourselves to, to responsible living and faithful service. Will you strive for all that makes for peace? We will. we will. Will you seek to heal the wounds of war? We will. Will you work for a just future for all humanity? We, we will. will. Merciful God, we offer to you the fears in us that have not yet been cast out by love. May we accept the hope you have placed in the hearts of all people and live lives of justice, courage and mercy through Jesus Christ, our risen Redeemer. Amen. Amen. And the blessing. God, grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and all God's servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. In, in the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen.